Hi, I'm Dr. Howard Coe, Assistant Secretary for Health for the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I'm here in Vienna, Austria at the International AIDS Conference, the largest AIDS conference in the world, and it's July 20th, 2010. I'm absolutely delighted to be joined here by Dr. Helene Gale, who is a national expert on HIV AIDS. She's the CEO of CARE USA, and we're also very honored to have her as chair of the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV AIDS. Welcome, Dr. Gale. Thank you. So tell us, from your point of view, what are the top couple of themes from this conference uh, that's relevant to the audience about HIV? Well, I think this is a, a very hopeful conference in many ways. Um, it shows that we've made great progress in providing access to treatment for people around the world. Um, one of the real challenges has always been getting access to antiretroviral treatment to parts of the world um, that don't have the kind of resources that, that uh, we have in the United States and um, there's been such incredible mobilization now uh, nearly over now five million people have access to antiretroviral therapies in, in poor uh, countries around the world. This is a great uh, step forward. There's also incredible news on the prevention front. Uh, there's a, a much uh, greater optimism about having new prevention tools. There was a landmark study that was reported on today that showed that a proof of concept trial for a microbicide, a, uh, a method that women can use to protect themselves against HIV, showed positive results. This is the first time we've had a positive result from a microbicide trial after over a decade of uh, trials in this arena. So I think there's good news on both the prevention as well as the treatment front and I think this should uh, give us a lot of encouragement that in fact we are making progress in this epidemic um, and I think it should encourage us to continue to do more. Great. Tell us more about how these themes affect the Presidential Advisory Council on HIV AIDS that you chair? Well, I think uh, clearly, first of all, this is an international meeting and, uh, and we're looking at global issues of which the United States is part of the global picture. Some of the things that, that we have heard about that particularly uh, relate to the U.S. epidemic, for instance, a, a study that the CDC um, reported out here that really looked at the intersection between poverty and race as the presidential AIDS, um, as, as the recently released um, National HIV AIDS Strategy really talked about how we as a country need to make sure that our efforts are targeted and focused at the populations at greatest risk and and I think this report that helps us to even better define um, who's at risk and, and what are some of the drivers. We know that uh, minority populations, particularly African American and Hispanics, have been disproportionately impacted by this uh, epidemic in, in the United States. But I think this study that looks at the intersection between social economic status and uh, race ethnicity is the kind of thing that will help us to target our resources even better and be more precise about the kinds of ways in which we're applying um, our tools to make a difference in this epidemic. We're very pleased that we were able to talk about the release of the new um, national HIV AIDS strategy, first time ever that uh, the United States has had this kind of comprehensive national plan that gives us a blueprint around reducing incidence, increasing access um, to treatment, and reducing disparities in uh, the epidemic. So, you know, I think this is incredibly great news. And finally, do you want to say a little bit more about how this new HIV strategy uh, will be relevant to aid service organizations around the U.S.? Well, uh, it is going to be critical for us to have the support of the, the communities that are engaged in the fight against HIV in the United States. This is issued by the U.S. government and the agencies that uh, are responding um, on behalf of the federal government, but, we, but the federal government cannot do it without the support of the communities, the community uh, aid service organizations, community groups, and all who are necessary to actually now take this plan and make it a living document where uh, communities can all engage 
in the efforts to continue to, make, to advance and make progress in reducing the spread of HIV and making sure that all people in the United States have access to life-saving treatment. Thanks so much, Dr. Gale. So this is Dr. Howard Coe from Vienna, Austria.